Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, Amber, doesn't look like any of those heat advisors are going to be coming here. Uh, no, not anytime soon because it's going to feel like fall. I love it. I love it. Reminds me of home. <laughs> hey, home we do what we home. can. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at what you can expect over the next few days because I got a lot to tell you about and a lot of changes from just yesterday. So here's what we're looking at. A cool start for you tomorrow morning as you get ready to head out the door to those church services. We're going to be looking at the 50s. Staying in the 80s as we head into next week. And I'm going to start to track those tropics for you next week as well because it's looking like we'll see a decent chance of some much needed rain across the Tennessee Valley. Here's what we're looking at right now as far as temperatures are concerned. We're in the 60s. These temperatures will continue to fall as we head through the overnight hours tonight. 67 right now in Huntsville at 66 degrees in Gunnersville, 65 in Decatur and Moulton, 68 degrees in Muscle Shoals at this hour. But we're going to keep falling from here overnight tonight. Looking at the 50s across the Tennessee Valley, 53 in Rainsville and Fort Payne, 55 in Scottsboro, 53 in New Hope, 51 up towards Meridianville and Hazel Green, 51 as well down in Faultful, 52 degrees in Athens, 54 over in Florence, 53 in Town Creek and 53 in Russellville overnight tonight. So a small taste of fall. It's not going to stick around very long, but enjoy it while we have it. As we move through the overnight hours, our winds will stay breezy out of the north at 20 to 25 miles per hour at times. They'll finally start to die down as we head into our Sunday. 31 triple Doppler right now, quiet and dry across the Tennessee Valley, and that's what I'm expecting at least for the next few days. Here's what we're looking at across the southeast right now. Still have that moisture down in the Gulf of Mexico, but for most of Alabama, we are quiet. Here across the Tennessee Valley, we're quiet and clear. That's what's going to lead to those cool temperatures as we head into the overnight hours tonight. So let's walk you through this heading into tomorrow morning, starting off with plenty of sunshine in those 50s for temperatures. So great morning to take the coffee out on the front porch and enjoy the fall like weather we're seeing. Sunshine continues as we head into tomorrow afternoon. A few clouds possible by tomorrow evening. And then as we move into Monday, same story there as well. Your temperature trend next week, keeping us in the 80s and even right at 80 by Thursday. That's when we'll start to see our chance of rain go up. Keeping an eye on this area that will move into the Gulf of Mexico as we head into the next couple of days. It has an 80% chance of becoming our next tropical system over the next week. So what does this look like? Well, first, it's probably going to be our next named system, which will be Francine on the list. For us, I'm going to start this off on Thursday. Showers and a few thunderstorms could be possible by this time. As we move into Friday, rain continues from this system as it makes its way across the southeast. Rain continuing all the way through Friday into your Saturday as well. Could change between now and then, so make sure you're checking back with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle tomorrow and through the rest of next week for those details. Going to keep those temperatures a little cooler as we head into the end of next week with all that rainfall that we could see. And of course, at this time, we need the rain across the Tennessee Valley. Yes, we do. But so far, I'm enjoying the dryness, and when the rain comes, I'll be ready. There you go. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Amber. <laughs>